Do you need more leads, prospects, and clients for your online fitness business? Well, the answer is probably yes, because who doesn't? As a paid traffic specialist running Facebook and Instagram ads, this is really my zone of genius, and especially when it comes to the online fitness space. Now, I am a strong advocate of organic advertising, at least until you've got enough revenue in your business to invest that money in Facebook advertising. And today I want to talk to you about one part of the paid traffic process. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a super simple funnel using ClickFunnels. I want to show you how to optimize it and really set yourself up for success to use organically and when you're ready, use it with paid marketing. Let's dive straight in. Okay, so before we dive into the video, a real quick disclaimer, I have not been sponsored by ClickFunnels to talk about their software. Honestly, I've used a lot of different funnel marketing software, and this is my favorite. It's very simple, really easy to use, and honestly, it sticks to what it knows. It builds amazing funnels that you can use in your online fitness business. So there are plenty of other platforms out there that you can use in your business, and you can take the principles from this video and apply it to the other pieces of software. But for the purpose of this video, I am gonna dive into ClickFunnels and show you around their system. So today I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a super simple hyper group growth funnel. So this helps you run traffic from either an organic source or a paid source to your funnel and direct that traffic to your Facebook group or community. And I've used this with hundreds of our clients to help them grow their groups from 500 members, 1,000 members, all the way up to 5, 10, and even 50,000 members. So let's dive into my computer and I'll start the walkthrough. Okay, so we're now in my computer and I want to walk you through ClickFunnels and the Hyper Group Growth Funnel. So if you're not used to ClickFunnels, this is a funnel building software. It is, you do get a 14 day free trial and then it's around $97 a month after that. And honestly, I've used a lot of different pieces of software and ClickFunnels is just really, really simple, really good for templates and their support is excellent as well. So I think it's a great investment in your business and it can help you with your organic marketing and your paid marketing when you're ready. So this is the uh, funnel dashboard. So you can create multiple funnels, but this is just one funnel. And on the left-hand side, you'll see the group capture page, a group thank you page, a privacy policy page, and a terms and conditions. So there's four pages and four stages to this funnel. So the reason we call it a funnel is because they start at the top and then they're funneled through. But this is just a two-page funnel. So we take them to the landing page, which is the group capture page, and then they hit the group thank you page and they're redirected to our community or our Facebook group. So the first thing we want to do is just set this funnel up for success. And how do we do that? Now the first thing we want to do is head to settings and just set up the overall settings for the funnel. So the first thing is the name, so it's the hypergroup growth funnel, so we can easily identify it when we have multiple funnels. The next is we need to add a domain. So if you don't already have a domain added, head to ClickFunnels Help Center, By the way, this is super, super helpful. Um, Their support is amazing. So all you need to do is type in adding a domain and it'll bring up all the different types of domain providers and then you just click on it. So if I just click GoDaddy, which is where I host my domains, then it gives you a walkthrough video and step-by-step on how to add a domain, which is really, really helpful. So that's how to add a domain. I've already got mine added, so I'm just gonna add it here. Next, we've got the path, and this is the overall path for the funnel. So this is the main path. I'm just gonna add it to join. When you do this, remember this is the path up here, so people will see this, so we don't want it to say like group capture or lead page or um, marketing funnel. We want it to make sure that it's you know it has the correct wording and it represents your business in, in the right way. The next is the favicon. So if you don't know what a favicon is, it's this little icon here. Uh, you can see next to the ClickFunnels, it's this little logo here. Again, if you don't know how to create one and add one to ClickFunnels, just type in favicon in the help center and it'll say add image favicon to your business uh, and your ClickFunnels account. So again, really easy to do. Um, just use the ClickFunnels Help Center. Next, we've got head tracking code and body tracking code. The head tracking code is where you'll add your Facebook base code pixel if you're running paid traffic. For now, I'm not gonna go into that. I may do that in another video for you. And that is everything. So once you've done that, you just need to scroll to the bottom and click save and update settings. That will then save, so you'll see Funnels was successfully updated. We just wanna click on the front page and make sure that our domain is now added. So we can see 
www.davejcrawfordgroupcapturepage. So we don't want this group capture page. And again, this is the next thing that we wanna set up. And I see a lot of people miss this step. And for me, um, I'm a stickler for detail, so I really want it to come across as professional and not have all these numbers and letters at the end. So the first thing you want to do is click the funnel step settings. And we're just gonna change that to join. So again, this is the first path in the funnel. We wanna make sure it's the same path as we set in our settings. So you can see now it's a really nice clean URL that we can use and we can send to people um, that doesn't have group capture and a load of letters and numbers at the end. The final step to just setting up this URL is just adding the split test settings because if you do create a split test, so a split test would be when you create a control and a variation page and then you change something on the variation page to see if it improves the conversion of this page. For this, I'm gonna keep it really simple and just keep the control page. But we do wanna just make sure that we set the URL in here. And how we do that is, again, we want to get rid of the path. We want to put join, but we do want to add a dash one because it has to be different because when we create a second page, it may say join two, join three, and etc. So we click update. So that's the domains added and URLs created for the landing page. And we want to do the same for the group thank you page. So again, we click the little cog here. And we'll just change this to thank you. I'm just going to copy that, click update, and that should update. Now, if you do update it and it still has a load of numbers and letters at the end, that's because it's already taken in your ClickFunnels account. So you just need to try a different URL and then it will uh, save and be the exact URL that you've asked for. Again, we just want to edit the split test settings because we don't want it to say opt-in with all of these numbers. So I'm going to go thank you and remember the dash one and update. Same for the privacy policy. I'm not gonna change these, but you do exactly the same. You just change it to privacy policy. I already have privacy policies in here, so it won't let me change the exact URL. So that's all the settings created, and now it's really we want to go in and optimize the actual pages. So to do this, you just click edit page. So this is the overall uh, desktop version of the funnel, and you can see it's a template. Um, that we use in our business for uh, our agency clients and also in our coaching program. So again, here we would want to edit this and I'm gonna show you around the settings and show you how to edit it. I'm not gonna necessarily give you the, the copy and how to do it and what to write in there, but I just wanna show you how to use ClickFunnels in the best possible way. So again, these buttons along the top, we've got desktop, mobile, so we can toggle through and see how it operates on desktop and mobile. We've got apps, which we don't need. We've got settings, which we will need. So um, we can scroll through and change these settings. We've got the pop-up, which we will need. So we can see the pop-up here. And then here we've got section, row, columns, and elements. So what are section, rows, columns, and elements? So if you hover over anything, you'll see the green box. That's a section. So that identifies this whole section, which we can edit and change. Next, if you hover over, you've got the blue section, which is rows and columns. And then finally, you've got the orange, which is uh, elements. So again, if you click on here and you go manage, you can see all the different elements by clicking and hovering over them. Same for the columns. If you click columns and manage, you can see all the different columns here. And then rows, again, is, is similar. It, rows would be different if we had two different rows. We've got singular rows here, so rows and uh, and columns are quite similar. Okay, so let's optimize this funnel. So the first thing we wanna do is go to settings and we're gonna to go to SEO data. Again, we wanna make sure this is correct. So if you send this link to someone, it will show up correctly. So join our free Facebook group. You may want to brand this, change it. You may wanna put your business name in here. You can put your name in here. You can also add your logo here. So that's how you would set up the SEO metadata for this page. Next, again, if you're adding a tracking code for Facebook advertising purposes, it would go in here, the header code. But for this, I'm not gonna dive into that. I can do that in a later video. The final thing we wanna do on this page is just click general and we wanna hide the affiliate badge. So we just click hide there so that it doesn't show up the affiliate badge at the bottom right. Okay, so that's that done. The next is how would you edit this page? So to edit, you would just hover over any of the text and you just See, when you click on it, it opens it up and you can delete it. So let's just say this is for dads only. You just do that and then click out of it and that would be done. So join our free Facebook group for, again, I would just click in dads 
that want to lose belly fat. And then just click out. So that's how you edit text and you change text in there. If you wanted to change the color or change the, the type of text or make it bigger, what you do is you'd hover over any element and then click the cog. And what comes up is the right hand side. And this is where all the settings for that certain element are. So you can see we can move the top margin, so we can move it up and down. We can change the actual text. So if I wanna change the text type, we can then change the mobile size. So remember, we wanna make sure that we optimize it for desktop and mobile. Now, 90% of the traffic is going to come through mobile. So we wanna make sure that we build it on desktop, but then optimize it for mobile as well. So you can change the mobile size and keep the desktop size at the same time. So if I change this to a lot smaller, you'll see it keeps the desktop size, but it will have changed the mobile. Again, text color, depending whether your text is bold or not bold, this will change. You can see the orange is bold. Background color, you can add an icon, and then you can change a few things there. Again, you can also go to advanced, and this is just all about the text. So padding, letter spacing, shadows. Have a play around with this. As you get more comfortable with ClickFunnels, you will be able to use these settings. But again, these are the main settings you need, and then you've got some more advanced settings. Okay, so that's how to edit text, and it's very similar for everything. So again, if I click over uh, this one, it's the same. Um, again, all text is pretty much the same. So these two buttons, these are a different element. So if I click on this, you'll see we can set the action. So we wanna set the action for the button and we wanna open the pop-up. So that's already set. And again, to change the text, you can change the text here and you can change the text here and obviously change the colors and everything else. So again, to do that, you just hover over and you click the settings cog and then you can edit all the settings in there. So that's how simple ClickFunnels is. Um, it's very much drag and drop and, and change settings. So really, really easy to use. Um, if you wanted to add any elements, again, um, so if you had a blank page here and you wanted to create this, you would just create um, sections and then add rows and then you would add elements. So you would just click add new element and then you see all the different elements here. So if I wanted to add a, a new button, just click that. And then I could create the button here by going, okay, I wanna open the pop-up. I wanna uh, go to advanced and I want it to be full width. Again, in advanced, you can go, okay, well, I wanna add more corners and then you can add subtext, so click here. And then you just make the, the font size bigger so that it shows up more. And you can add the icon as well, like I've added. So icons are here, and then I'll just type in people, and it adds the icon. So you see how simple it is to use and create. Um, really just play around with it, have a go with, with editing your funnels and really optimizing them to look professional. Okay. So next thing is we just want to check the pop-up. So we'll go show pop-up. And this pop-up has already been created as well. So again, uh, we just want to make sure it's name, email, and then submit this page. So when we submit the page, you want to make sure where we're submitting that page to. And I'll show you that in a second once we've optimized the thank you page. So next we'd head to mobile and just check mobile is all optimized. So how do we do that? Well, it's pulling through from the desktop, but how we would do it is just make sure that the text size is correct. So you can see here, this is the font size, but we wanna always make sure that we're doing it on the mobile font size. So we would click 40 here, so that's correct. And then we could hover over the button as well and click on that and go mobile size. Okay, we want it a bit bigger and so on. So we always wanna just check this. And this is a really um, key part to click funnels. Always check your final funnel on your mobile. We wanna make sure it really shows up good on your mobile um, because that's where most of the traffic is going to come from. Okay, so that is how to set up a landing page for ClickFunnels. We've edited the text, we've added things in, we've made sure that the pop-up's working. All we need to do is make sure we can grab the final thank you page um, link. So when we submit the pop-up and submit the form on this page, it opens up the thank you page. So I'm just gonna go back. In fact, I'm gonna click save. Always remember to save. Um, if you leave, it'll obviously prompt you, but you wanna always make sure you've saved the changes. So we're gonna go back. And all I'm gonna do is, because I've already optimized this link to say thank you, I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to the group capture page and I'm gonna click edit. I'm gonna go settings, general, and see here it says on submit and go. You just wanna add it there. And then you come out of that and you click save. So what does that mean? When someone submits their details on here, it's gonna take them to the next stage in the funnel, so the next page. Okay, so that's done. 
And if it says leave, you just want to click save again. So we'll exit that and then we'll just optimize the group thank you page. So again, we're going to click edit. And here, this is what we call a redirect page. Really super simple. And all it does is says, congratulations, you're in and you'll be redi redirected to our Facebook group in three seconds. And this is where we add the redirect. So we click on here and we see we add a redirect account down. It's three seconds. We're going to redirect it to a URL and we will just redirect it to say a Facebook group. So you grab your Facebook group link. Um, and let's just say mine's Dave J Crawford. And then you auto reset the timer. So once you've set your timer, you just wanna make sure that you copy the Facebook group link as well and just add it here. So you click on it, you click the little pen and then you just delete the, and add the link in. So that just means if it doesn't redirect on the page, then it will, um, it will be able to click, the, the prospect will be able to click here. And then just check it on mobile, which is good. And then we want to just check the settings. So SEO metadata. And then again, we want to just turn off the affiliate badge to hide the affiliate badge. And that's really how to set up your funnel and optimize it on ClickFunnels. There's nothing really more to it. Again, it's really, really simple. Once you've done this, you do want to run through it on desktop and also on uh, mobile as well, just to check it works. How do you do that? You would just copy this link and then you'd go to your browser. And then you would just run through the funnel. So you could go through normally. So go Dave J Crawford. And then I'm going to submit this and then it'll go to the redirect. It's not going to redirect me because I don't have a Facebook group. Um, so it's just going to direct me to Facebook. So that is how to set up um, your ClickFunnels hypergroup growth funnel. It's how to optimize any funnel really to have it um, and, and make it look very, very professional. And then you would just from there, you obviously need to optimize your privacy policy and also your terms and conditions. But again, I won't dive into that. You need to make sure you have your own privacy policy and your terms and conditions for your business. So I'm going to wrap this up. I hope this was useful for you and gave you a little bit of insight to click funnels and you can take this and start building out your own hypergroup growth funnel. If you're serious about taking your online fitness business to the next level and starting, growing and scaling it, then the next thing you want to do is check out the video I've got linked up here on when to hire a fitness marketing agency for your business. In this video, I talked to you about when is the right time to hire a fitness marketing agency and really some things to look out for when you're hiring them. So make sure to check that out and I'll see you in the next video.